just sat down and logged into my computer. She's already doing this. Go lay down, young lady. Go. I've been doing it straight at my computer today. Come on. Lay down and stay. No, that means stand up. <laughs> you are so cute. You stay. You stay right there. Ah, I don't know if you noticed my new shirt or not. It's metal. The brand. Yeah, this bitch. Kelly, go lay down. Go. Go lay down. Go. I'm being a very stern mother. Go lay down. Go. Babe, go lay. What are you? I'm not giving you more food, fatty. I think I got her like McDonald's style food. Actually, I'm like positive I got her McDonald's style food. <laughs> I spent my weed money on charity last night. <laughs> I got to go to this super cool, um, what do they call it? Starts with a G. Thing. Oh my god. <laughs> like where they have silent auction, you know, outside there's a bar and you like order drinks and whatnot and silent auction on shit. And then you go inside and there's all these fancy tables with all the settings and like silk over the chairs and tied in the back and your napkins and your glass. Um, my dad is an artist, and he donated this piece to Casa Esperanza, which is a really awesome organization. You need to fucking... It's not... That sounded like I was eating corn or something like a mouse. Type. Not good at sound effects at all. Casa Esperanza, um, for people who have cancer, they're, they can go and their families can stay while they're going through treatment. Um, and so my dad has been working with them, I want to say for like... 10 years maybe um maybe eight i don't know my um, aunt was the groundbreaking like she was there from day one when they started the organization um and last night she was at dinner also Fucking cool. here she comes uh, my dad unveiled this piece that he donated to them and it was all these hands and arms like welcoming and like there were these stainless steels holding it for like everyone that's like you know suffered loss and um corn is like rebirth and regrowth and so he had corn on it it was just really fucking awesome uh and he donated that and so i got to go to this what do they call it i just want to say gala la, la, la. gala gala gay they all sound weird to me right now also this perfume makes me smell like an old lady i don't know why panic i got a gift card and i just ugh. I don't know. I, the other stuff that I like that I bought is gone. And it was like 50 fucking 60 bucks for a goddamn bottle. And it's somewhere and it looks like it's a fucking Walmart brand style bottle. It's called like Beautiful Sensations or something. Sorry, this is a trusty fan right now because it's the weird season in New Mexico. Going back to last night's event. Uh, my fucking... start a sentence and then walk away. That's how you keep them interested. So, <clears throat> we're there, you know, you sign in, so they have your name and your phone number and, like, everything attached to your bidder number because they do, like, live auctions. And this was my number. <laughs> my bidding number. Fucking of course. Shoot! Shoot! Go lay down. Go. Go frolic the lands. Uh, so this was my bidding number. And I got to hold it up because I donated money. Um, what they did for my dad's piece, he donated it, but they wanted, obviously, it's a fundraiser. Um, and the piece is a $10,000 piece. And they wanted everyone to bid on it so that they could all have... Oh, my sister's calling me. Hello? So I am in between Carrizozo and... San Antonio, but I'm closer to the San Antonio side because I'm in the middle of the vast nothingness of the dirt storm, like where they have dirt storm. 
Oh, I thought you would have been closer right now. Um, no, because I am just waiting. Oh, you bitch. I know. No, it's and, fine. Um, I was thinking about stopping in San Antonio at, I don't know, the one across the street from the Owl Cafe. Uh huh. Okay, well, mostly I was just calling to see if I had time to go and get something to eat. You say what? I was mostly calling just to see if I had time to go get something to eat because I'm starving. Yes, I know. That's where I'm like, shit, and you know how they take forever to make dinner? So I'm like, well, and that's what I was going to ask you at eight. So if you don't eat, then maybe I'll stop and see if I can get something to go because there's nothing else. No, there's not. Not until you get to, like, Las Lunas, and then there's still nothing. Well, why don't you just stop at that gas station that's there in San Antonio and just get some snacks? Well, I have snacks, but I kind of, I just, I don't know what I'm hungry for. I'm not even really hungry. I ate so much stupid food last night, and I slept like shit. I'm sorry you slept like shit, but I'm laughing at you. What did you um, eat? So, I ate brown bag. <gasps> it was fine. Like, everything is better in, in your head than well, you're also thought, pretty critical. I, I'm really not. Cause it was... Did I lose you? I'm losing you. Over and out. In and out of service. Hoochie woochie. Shoo doo doo. Yep. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. So this big piece and they wanted everyone to be able to buy or have a part of it. You know, you donate and be like, oh, I donated, a, you know, like I'm a part of that sculpture. It's welcoming. And I wanted, it was my dad and this is a very big thing for him. And he had to have like a little speech and that's fucking cool. And my aunt who introduced him to Casa Esperanza was there with my uncle who are they're fucking awesome. I had a rad date. He was super fun also. But I bid on it and I got a, a bid like for my sister and for me and then I had my mom bid for my sister so that all of the girls kind of have like a a piece of it a very big monumental moment for my dad donating this really awesome piece that's gonna be outside of there for fucking ever and you know to like represent them it's just it's really fucking cool I cried a little bit <laughs> I did um also, my best friend, Eileen, who you guys have heard her voice or seen her or whatever, she's moving today. It's not, like, fucking across the country. She's just moving for a new job. She's going to be down by the Gila, living the best life for her, fucking killing it and fishing all the time. She's going to fucking... Anyways, I'm jealous. <laughs> but I renewed my fishing license, so I'm going to go down and visit her. She's moving today, so I cried for that also. <laughs> meow. Dear meow. I don't know. Sad sound effects. I don't know any sound effects. I need to go eat. Is there even any? I fucking loaded this thing yesterday. Remember my grief with these all the time? Now it's blinking like... I'm dead. You gotta charge me. Uh, fuck you. I charged you forever. But I spent my weed money on charity. I do have some edibles. That'll take too long to hit me. I'm gonna have weed. If you're like me, having, I don't know, like a. I know no measurements of marijuana, okay? I could honestly get really ripped off. Be like, did you want an ounce? And I'm like, yeah. And he gives me like four little things. And I'd be like, thanks, man. Here's your two hundo. <laughs> Catch you later, bro. No, I'm not that dumb. At least we don't call them like lids now like they used to back in the day. Oh, this coffee's cold. 
My buddy gave me this cool tin. He's like, they don't make these anymore. This is vintage. But his dad used to work for American Spirits for years, and the lid fits inside. Uh, why would I try that? And what did that mean? This. This is cool. Here comes the dog. Because I laughed, and I got excited, and she has to be included. She doesn't know what's going on, and she's jealous. Do you hear that? She's whining. Bugs! Oh, she thinks she is the center of the universe. Also, I was trying to watch one of my shows, and I realized that the majority of the show is just me doing this with my dog. I need more coffee. I don't think that I need, I need to go eat. That's the main goal, but I should smoke and first, because obviously I need that. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> you tickled me. It's kind of scared me. I thought you were farther back. I thought you moved. You want to get on back, girl? Oh, when we were at the thing last night, my... This bitch. Kelly, go lay down, please. I'm in a very important meeting. Down. Down. Good girl. Stay. I just walked over to where the weed is, and then I just walked right back over here. Oh, so, mama, me. No. Oh, my God. No. No. Go lay down. Go. So my mom, my dad, me, my date, my uncle, my aunt, and then other people that all know my dad um, that are involved in stuff or not involved to come to the events, whatever. I meet all these people all the time and I never remember them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're sitting, me and my dad are sitting together and... We're doing shit and, you know, talking shit and fucking about the speeches and I feel bad, like, because I bring a date, but it's just rude. I'm, me and my dad are just like, <laughs> fucking whispering. And my mom's all, I should have fucking let you two sit next to each other. Because <laughs> it's like we're fucking little kids in school. So this guy's giving this speech, right? And he's losing the crowd it's long and he's like this rich guy that donates a bunch of money and you know yada 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 and so my dad has this fucking wine glass in front of him sitting on the table an empty wine glass and he gets a fucking knife and he goes <laughs> like but it makes the no um like that sound kind of <laughs> at the table my dad does like three times and my mom turns around and looks at him like what the fuck are you doing? My dad's all, that's how you get their attention. And I was like, on you, not on the guy talking, you dick. Oh, man. It was a fucking blast. The date was super cool, too. And got along with my uncle really well. Uncle, thanks for being, like, my wingman and taking care of my date while I completely ignored him the entire dinner. I did bring him a plate of food, though. So, and he opened all the doors. Homeboy. Open all of the fucking doors for me. Super, super nice. And then once I gave up on the heels thing so I didn't die or, you know, my feet didn't swell to... Elements on my feet? I don't know. Uh, I was standing in line to pay for... <laughs> for that. And uh, my feet were killing me. So I was like, hey, man, would you mind running and getting my sandals for me? And he's like, well, do you want to take your shoes off and then I'll just bring them? And I was like, no, I'll just carry my high heels whenever, you know, I switch into the other ones. You don't have to, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I'll just make two trips then. And I was like, no, 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 I'll just carry them. I just don't want to walk on this carpet barefooted because I've worked in a bar and it, I just don't. It's gross. I know it's a hotel and, like, it gets cleaned all the time and it's fancy. I just don't want to put my, my bare feet on the carpet okay so no i'm gonna keep my shoes on and then thanks <laughs> and of course he comes back i switch and he's like give me the shoes and i'm all no no, no i'll carry him he's like no i'm gonna go put him in the truck so we put him in his truck super nice and he also fishes so that's cool i don't remember oh i got to dance with my dad and my aunt and my uncle were out there dancing it was a really fucking good time thanks mom and dad I felt like a cool, fancy person. Okay, what am I at? Everyone tells me that my shit's too fucking long and no one wants to hear anything. 
<clears throat> I did break the dry spell, though. You guys should know. Um, hold the applause. Fuck! whatever. I have a barbecue to go to today. I'm not in any sort of rush. I did the adult things I needed to do already. And I, one thing, and I feel very accomplished about it. So pff, I'm pretty much spent for the day on that adult shit. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, dry spell. I am, I, I got over the, God, this hair. I got over the hump. But I, I just, I can't, dude. Like these, every guy fucking annoys me. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not really fucking sorry. Perhaps I'm just a cunt, but I have fucking standards also. Okay. Um, I'm not going to name any names here or anything like this. Dude, seriously, this is Sadio, bro. You can't come in here like this. When you are 30 years old and you're, hanging out and I was like oh I'm gonna go do this and then the person that you're hanging out with invites themselves that's like no you you know you get invited to do stuff unless like people are like oh hey we're going to do this and it's like they're telling everyone as if to just like openly invite people that's different when I'm like what are you gonna do with the rest of your afternoon he's like oh I don't know what are you gonna do I'm like oh or whatever however fucking you're such an attention whore bitch um You don't invite yourself and then you don't ask how much it costs to get in. If you can't afford to go do something, don't fucking ask about it. And I'm not going to fucking cover you, bro. Uh, and don't it's super unattractive when you're too drunk to fucking pay for your own shit. Go to like, oh, I'll get this. Oh, I'll get this. Uh, dude, ugh, I can't get. I don't know how a wallet works. I can't get it. At, oh, 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 here. Oh, this is my ID. <laughs> I guess I'll pay for the beers and for the fucking food at last call. Fuck you. And then you want to make up for it by buying brunch, but you won't get out of my fucking house so we can actually go to brunch. So then we miss brunch. And then when you pay for lunch, <clears throat> I have to fucking laser beam you because I'm afraid that you're actually going to walk out on the fucking ticket because you're doing a lot of very awkward, uncomfortable things with the fucking money. And I'm pretty sure you fucking stiffed the waitress too. Granted, the service was the best, but she was fucking working. Okay. You still fucking tip her. Then we go somewhere and then you swipe something for me. I'm 30 years old. If I want something, I fucking pay for it. I don't fucking steal it. A $3 fucking whatever the thing that you did. You're a fucking moron. You are a complete and absolute fucking moron. I'm sorry. It's just stupid. And it didn't impress me. And I had dinner plans with my sister. And then I'm, um, thanks, dropping me off. Cool, I'll text you later, you know, whatever. Oh, you're hanging out with her right now? This is where we fucking part ways. You don't live with me. We're not fucking married. And I don't like clingy fucking dudes. Th this was already more like I was getting anxiety by fucking hanging out with you because you weren't getting any of the fucking signals that I don't want to fucking hang out anymore. You, We're cool. We did the things. We're okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Get the fuck out of my apartment. Several things came up where it was like, why don't you go to your place? Like, go fucking brush your teeth. No, you're not getting it. You live fucking a three second walk from my fucking place a one second drive go home and do something with your fucking self please go brush your goddamn fucking teeth uh, i think i'm just gonna skip the going to my house thing okay how else can i put this why don't you go get stuff for a hike at your place and i'll get ready for a hike since i'm not dressed for a hike I'm dressed to go to brunch because that was the original fucking plan. But you just keep making different plans because you're postponing getting your ass out of my fucking bed because I'm providing weed for you to smoke also. Get the fuck out of my bed. I don't have patience. I like a dude that has his own fucking shit going on, wants to hang out with me, but doesn't want to fucking be around me all the goddamn fucking time. That annoys the fuck out of me. Have some shit going on. Yes, I'm terrible at fucking texting people back. Okay, whatever, but I'm, if I want to fucking text you back, I fucking will. 
And if I'm doing shit, then I'm fucking doing shit, and I'll text you when I'm fucking done. <coughs> Everyone knows that pet peeve for me. It's, I mean, I feel like a dick. Okay, so, I need to go, I need to go. Text messages of 20 minutes. Okay. If a dude texts me, hey man, what are you doing? I want to hang out with you later. And then I don't text you, or I text you, and I'm like, oh, uh, going for a walk in the bosque. Okay. Going for a walk in the bosque. If I'm going for a walk in the bosque, my phone is in my pocket or, um, in my bag, something in not this <laughs> bosque walk. Oh my God. I got a text. <laughs> Hold on. I got to text him back. Uh, bosque walk, me and my dog. That's not what I'm doing. I'm walking and looking at nature, talking with my friend that I'm walking with or some fucking shit. Don't send me another text saying, well, are we going to hang out or not? Don't fucking call me, okay? Uh, I said I'm going for a walk in the bosque. That means I'm doing something and I will fucking text you when I'm done. Like, there are just several of these fucking things that I'm like, just fuck, like, chill, dude. Fucking Christ. And I'm, and I go with the flow. So, like, after walking the bosque, let's say the girl homegirl I'm with, then we go to fucking brunch or we go and we want to go on a hike after that. We feel invigorated, you know, drop the dogs. We're going to go for a hike, something like that. Like I just go with the fucking flow of life and things. Okay. And I'm not wearing my phone on my fucking face all the goddamn time. I'm a person and I talk to people and I look at things and I listen to music with my, my phone is on silent all the time. See? The little thing where it's silent? All the time. It's not even on vibrate if I get messages and stuff like that. So it's just whenever I look at my fucking phone. I'm sorry if I don't fucking text you back. Please eat two of these. I, I have, I've realized it's just I have these fucking standards. Very high fucking standards. Not super high standards. Don't be a douchebag. Don't be a fucking mooch. Take the fucking hint. Have your own shit going on. <clears throat> have most of your shit together, at least. Like, I'm not a complete, you know, full functioning, uh, I have my life in order. Obviously, I don't know how to be an organized person. <laughs> I've asked my friend, like, come and help me. Like, how do you put stuff everywhere? Like, how do things go everywhere? Like, where do you put this weird thing that doesn't have a home? Like, what do you do with it? And I'm just really bad about things putting clothes away they just they live in a basket or the chair the infamous chair stop talking about that but I, I just have standards and that's fucking fine that's, that's chill this dude is persistent as fuck that I met on some stupid dating app um and I only gave in to meeting him because I just wanted to see if he was that fucking weird in person. And I was like, um, cool, we'll meet at a public place. And then I, he sent me like 10 more text messages. And I was like, nope, never mind. Um, the f I think what, I think I've showed you guys this before. Uh, he called me baby after like the seventh message or something. And I was like, oh, nope, I'm done. And he's all, what did I do? You called me baby. I don't fucking know you, man. Don't call me baby. I vomited. That's disgusting. Don't do that. Um, ugh. Ugh, no, and he's still, I'm sorry, please give me another chance. I won't text him. Really, you're just going to give up on me that easy? Come on, I'll make it up to you. I promise I'm not like that. Obviously, you are. I told him he was the Costco of red flags. He is the Costco of red flags. And he's like, huh, oh, something fucking stupid. And I send him pictures like this of really disgusting angles. And then he's like, oh, I like that. Or you're cute. And I was like, you're a fucking idiot. And he still texts me. And asks me to hang out. And I was like, sure, I'll give in. We're meeting in a public place. And I was really intoxicated when I said yes. And he works in the weed industry. But he's like, but no, I'm not high all the time. We have nothing in common. If you work in the industry and you said that, we, I don't even want to talk to you anymore, bro. Like, no, you idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you want to some nuts? Don't. Damn it! <laughs> I touched the bag of nuts. No. No. 
No. Stay. Stay. Look at this hair. Dry shampoo is the bomb. So, oh yeah, I got this tight ass fucking... I gotta give a shout out to my Oceano boys. <laughs> they were... Oh, watch out! <laughs> they were in town this week on tour. Oh, that's what fell. They were on town... Oh, no. They were in town on tour this past week. And I got this dope-ass fucking windbreaker from them, eh? Mm, pop. Mm, pop. Mm, mm, pop. The enlightened ones. Oh! Oceano, bitch. <laughs> uh, they're actually homies. I, you know, you think I would learn... Wait, what? How? What is this? Okay, there we go. All right. <clears throat> oh. Okay. It was a 50s theme last night, too, at the event. So everyone was dressed all 50s. It was tight. Uh-uh. 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 It's a dolphin town. Go. Go. They were in town, and they played at Launchpad, and it was a fucking sick show. Uh, Adam's mic went out. That kind of sucked, but he's just a beast and just fucking still goes, and he has a crazy awesome, like, deep voice. He really cares about the earth and preservation really fucking cool dude everyone in the band is actually pretty tight i mean <laughs> i give them all shit but they're really really good homies they came and they as soon as they're actually 15 minutes early to me opening my bar they're like what time do you work and i'm like two which means the bar opens at three but i didn't tell them that and they showed up at 245 luckily it was fine so i opened up and all of them came in and drank beers and poor scott he drank a little bit too much, and he had to go sleep in the van, and I humped him to wake him up for their set. <laughs> Me and Chris went out to the van, and he was fucking all, and I jump on him, and I start humming, and I was like, get the fuck up, and I'm smacking his ass, and I was like, you have to get on stage, and he was like, oh, his lung hurts, and then he kind of like wakes up, and he's like, oh, fuck, and I was like, yeah, get up, and he's like, perks up, puts on his extra dark black jeans like they all do for their set, <laughs> It, just changing in the street because they're band boys. Oh, yeah, dry shampoo. Chris and I were talking about dry shampoo. I was like, dude, it looks like you recently showered. He's like, no, dry shampoo. And I was like, oh, me too. High five. I should have told him about my dry shampoo. Um, But they had to leave that night, so they didn't get to fucking hang out. But I did spend the entire night pretty much hanging out with them, uh, which is gnarly as fuck. Chris and I are pretty close, so only when he's in town. <laughs> we don't have to text when he's out of town. We just get stoked when they're in town. Uh, they didn't have enough time to chill. Normally they shower at my place if I live n in the hood. They're fucking ridiculous. And their merch guy wasn't a dick this time. The last time they were here, their merch guy was a fucking douchebag. And him and I did not get along. And I don't remember what the fuck I was trying to buy, but I was like $5 short in cash. And I was like, no, I was like, no, just here. Just take it and give me the shirt. And he's like, no, it's fucking $40 or whatever. And I was like, I will fucking go and get $5 from Chris right now. Just fucking give me the goddamn shirt. And he was like, I don't care if you drop band members' names or not. Like, fucking whatever. So I just, like, go over and I'm like, Chris, this fucking asshole wants some of his fucking shirt. I don't have five fucking dollars, but I want this goddamn fucking shirt. Chris goes over and he's like, give her the fucking shirt, man. He was a fucking cocksucker. But this guy was actually really cool this time. Chill. Except he kept telling me that he was going to rub poop on my sweatshirt that was behind there. <laughs> Anyways, awesome set. Glad to see the boys. Um, they just got back from their, like, European tour, and they were telling me fucking how wasted they were. They got a bottle of, like, whiskey every single day. They just get handed a bottle every single day. Could you imagine? I would be, like, shaky, fucking disgusting alcoholic hungover every single fucking day. I can't even drink liquor now. I have one liquor drink, and I have to sleep in until 3 o'clock the next day because it puts me on my ass. I'm learning how actual lightweight I am. I can't fucking drink hard. I'm a fucking tiny old lady. I'm really... <laughs> Guys, I don't understand why no one wants to have sex with me. It just baffles me. Blows me mind. Okay, just kidding. Fuck me. Actually, I really want beer right now, but I can't because I have to go to this barbecue for my sister because she's in town and I need to go eat. I could do both and go to sister, but we all know how that fucking ends. Don't leave until midnight. $100 in the hole. But friends with your ex again. Holla. <laughs> all right. I need to go eat. And 
Get high. Oh, yeah. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I need to get high. I think I'm already there. Oh, and this dude that hit on me and he got my phone number and he was telling me to go out and it was Friday night and I was at home by like 9.30. And I'm actually, I'm sorry, dude. I told you I would hit you up after I had dinner with my fam, but I'm really tired. I'm just going to go to bed after work tomorrow. And then I have this event I'm going to afterwards and I don't want to be hungover or tired. So I just chilled at home, and then I saw him the next day at the growers market, and I was like, oh, I'm surprised to see you up this early. It's 10:30, 10:15. Uh, he's with like family and stuff. And apparently, you can't be yourself in front of family, except for my family. And he was like, lift up sunglasses. He was like, huh, huh, and then like put his sunglasses down and just kept walking. And I was like, okay, another one bites the dust. <laughs> I guess we're not going out. I embarrass him in front of his mom. Oh, your mom doesn't know that you go out? Are you a grown-ass man? Fucking idiot. See, that's the shit when I say stuff like that. My dad's all, quit being so fucking cynical. You're too fucking cynical. You're too mean. You need to just chill out. The guys do one fucking thing wrong. They spell something wrong. And you're like, fuck that. I'm out. It's like, you can't do that. Whatever. Makes for good stories. Sassy Lumberjack out. I have like 50 other fucking things recorded about I don't know what that I've done before. I was pretty drunk on some of these ones. I started watching it. I'm like, what am I even talking about? So this is I, what the last one was like five months ago that I posted. I'm sure y'all didn't miss me. Maybe some of you guys did. Yeah. The beer that's in my fridge, I really want to drink. Beer. It's fucking beer. Hello? There's no one here.